Hi. People have been asking about how I'm testing all this stuff and uh, learning about all the systems in Model 3. So I was going to show you my uh, test buck setup. This was derived from the salvage Model 3 that uh, you saw in a previous video. So this is basically the entire Model 3 laid out on the floor with all the essential modules hooked up, all the wiring harnesses, everything needed for the car to go into drive. The drive unit will run. Steering rack, braking system, cooling system. A lot of people are wondering uh, also where some of the modules are. I guess uh, I'll start at the front of the car and work back, identify some of these things. So here's the very front of the car. This little thing is a Honda um, heater core that I'm using as a radiator because the original radiator was destroyed in the accident. But uh, up here is the uh, front latch assembly. It also, the radar is on there. Uh, ambient air sensor, a few other things. Um, we have the coolant tank, uh, manifold and valve, heat exchanger, uh, AC compressor is in this black thing here. We've got the ice computer, which is normally mounted on the firewall. It's liquid cooled. This is the autopilot computer and the computer that runs the center screen. This module here is normally mounted up on the side of the kick panel on the passenger footwell. It's called VC right, vehicle controller right. We've got the climate control box. Here's the power steering rack. It's got two data connectors, two power connectors, and it's fed from uh, different sides of the electrical system so it can retain operation in the event of a fault. That's uh, ESP3. This is the iBooster. Here's VC front, vehicle controller front. This is the um, main uh, body controller, if you will. 12 volt battery. Uh, which is right here, connects to this, and this distributes all the power. There is no fuses in this box, including on the high current 12 volt connections. Goes right into the box, and inside there are MOSFETs and current detectors for fault tolerance. Uh, the iBoost is basically the master cylinder, but it also is a power brake system. Um, it has a big electric motor here to provide the you know, power brake functions for the hydraulic braking system. It also, uh, during uh, autopilot control, the uh, braking system can be modulated smoothly using this assembly. Hydraulic lines come out of that and go into the uh, ESP3 module, which is the uh, ABS, traction control, brake force distribution, all that um, handles the hydraulics. Over here we have VC left, um, vehicle controller left. It looks almost identical to the one we saw on the right, which is um, up in the driver's side kick panel. This uh, functions the body controller for like parking brake, um, climate control, seat controls, things like that. Anything on the left side of the car, basically. <clears throat> With the pedal assembly. It's got the go pedal there, which is uh, send signals to the drive unit, and the brake pedal, which is not connected to its the front of the eye booster there, but the uh, brake switch is there. This little module is the uh, RCM, restraint control module. It also passes its accelerometer and gyroscope signals uh, 
to ESP and the drive unit for, you know, traction control, uh, more or less uh, yaw control and that kind of thing. So uh, it's essential that it be in the car, even if you don't want airbags. You got the climate control stack there. We got some of the overhead things here. We got our front uh, little console with the dome lights, the uh, hands-free microphone, things like that. There's the rear dome light. Over here we have the assembly that's normally on the windshield, which is the triple cam. It's got the three autopilot cameras, uh, GPS receiver. There's also the uh, little tiny camera that views inside the car, passengers. We've got a climate control sensor on the back of the, uh, normally that's underneath the screen. I have the, the bezel off. Wiring harness comes down. We've got the little uh, B-pillar uh, B covers that have the side cameras in them. They also have the uh, side Bluetooth receivers. And on the driver's side, you can see there's an antenna for the NFC. So you, that's what happens when you hold the car card up to the car. Uh, this little black box is VC sec. This normally sits in front of the armrest behind the cup holders and uh, is the security controller. It also reads the NFC cards um, in the event uh, your phone isn't working, whatever. We've, uh, here's the PCS. We already went over that in the other video. So. Uh, you can watch that if you want more information. Some little goodies, like uh, this is normally up in the um, headliner. I think it sits on the, the beam between the B pillars, and it's the Wi-Fi antenna. Here's the front of the uh, ice with the cover off. That's showing the ice side of things, the autopilot ECUs on the back. And over here we have the premium sound amplifier that uh, handles the subwoofer and door speakers and things. That's the radio tuner, which is normally up uh, kind of behind on the C, uh, C pillar. We have the brake calipers. Uh, the reason I have the brake calipers here is so that they'll, the VC left and VC right will detect them and they'll work properly. Um, if without them, they generate a fault. We even have some of the stuff here that's normally on the rear hatch. The uh, reverse camera, license plate lights. Um, there's the hatch release. There's the hatch release motor. Here we have the, the charge port. The left side brake caliper. Uh, charge door motor. Charge door was broken in the accident. This is the charge port ECU, which uh, by some miracle still works even though its plastic housing was destroyed in the accident. Uh, this is the TPMS receiver. Uh, tire pressure management system. Receives a 433 megahertz radio transmission from the transmitters and the wheels. Um, of course, the drive unit, as I've detailed in the other videos. Note the size of these cables. Um, they're huge. They're way bigger than you found in SNX. So that implies that 3 is capable of a higher rate supercharge than uh, SNX at present. They are very big. The big connector going into the top of the PCS or penthouse. Um, the other side wiring harness and then uh, there's a cross harness that connects the two. Let's see, what haven't I uh, enumerated here? I think that about does it. You can see, uh, oh, there's a couple more things. There's the wheel speed sensor or um, tone ring pickup as some people call it, for that'd be the right rear wheel. The left one is under here. Uh, 
comparing this car to even like say a Toyota Prius, there's way less wiring, less, uh, le uh, less total count of ECUs. Um, it's simpler. They basically vertically integrated uh, all this thing in these three body controllers, VC right, VC front, and VC left. They contain all the, uh, all the functions of the car pretty much uh, as far as body and peripheral control. Uh, I have, uh, you can see right here, the high voltage interlocks are bypassed for the uh, AC compressor and the cabin heater. I didn't want to run high voltage up here. I've got the high voltage uh, port capped off on the back of the pack and there's no high voltage up here. That way I can experiment without any danger. <clears throat> Here's the heat exchanger. This is normally connected to the uh, HVAC system. There's a, uh, looks like a computer controlled expansion valve here that uh, enables this to have a variable amount of uh, refrigerant, very amount, variable amount of heat extraction. Let's see if there's anything. I guess that's about it. Um, again, sorry for the shaky cam. Uh, it's the only good way to do this. So I'm going to see about getting a gimbal, make this thing a little smoother. Sometimes it's hard to hold it still when you're moving around. Well, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, also, uh, there was recently a big discussion about whether the drive unit uses silicon carbide IGBTs or FETs. Um, that right there should lay that to rest. MOSFET. Um, I think I've went over most of these screens before. Um, so, uh, yeah, a lot of people didn't realize the last video I shot on CAN was filmed uh, from the screen and it's in uh, developer mode now and that gives me access to all this stuff without having to do anything uh, unusual. All right, uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me hear it in the comments. Um, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, more Model 3 videos coming soon.